Experts say Monday's Facebook and Instagram outage should serve as a warning to social media users. While Facebook has officially cited reconfiguration as the cause and said no personal information was jeopardized, we checked in with the cybersecurity expert to learn more about the risk consumers already face every day. From the ring doorbells to your Nest thermometer to smart light bulbs to smart fridges, microwaves, and everything in between. You know, all of these devices poses a risk to your infrastructure and your data inside your home. So you may think just plugging that device in is no big deal, but a hacker can use that to actually gain access to your computer inside your own network. He also shared with us some quick tips on how to stay safer online. You can enable multi-factor checks and authorized logins. Watch what information you make public and don't open or answer emails, texts or calls you don't recognize. Almost no one outside of Facebook knows what happens inside of Facebook. Facebook's products harm children, stoke division, and weaken our democracy. One day after a Facebook whistleblower brought up safety concerns on Capitol Hill, the mental health of our children remains a top priority. CBS 21's Asia Tab sat down with a mental health expert today, and we want to help out the parents the best way we can, Asia. What are some of the common issues among teens now? Jody, I spoke with a mental health expert, and he says the biggest thing that teenagers do is compare themselves. He also says that that causes a negative impact on their mental health. It can have far-reaching consequences on kids. Um, these kids are getting addicted um, to things like Instagram and social media. And Which can lead to depression. These kids are making unfair comparisons with other kids like how many likes are they getting how do they look they're using filters to change the way they look on social media therapist mark sigmund says social media among young people is not safe it can lead to cyberbullying or even worse you've heard of instances of suicides over the years and they've tied them into a, a, a person being cyber bullied on social media. Um, Former employee Francis Haugen says Facebook is even exploiting teens using powerful algorithms that amplifies their insecurities. And sometimes kids will share a picture of themselves on social media that they probably shouldn't be sharing and it spreads throughout the entire school. Francis also alleges that Facebook targets children under the age of 13 with addictive products. Kids are, are buying drugs from each other using social media and the internet. And with fentanyl out there right now, this is a big issue. And deleting social media apps is easier said than done. So if a kid tries to say, okay, well, this is becoming a problem for me and I'm looking at Instagram too much, it's not like they can delete the account right away. Um, it'll take a month to actually delete the account. And Sigmund also says that too much time on social media can lead to anxiety and depression. Now, he also recommends that parents limit their kids' time on social medias or on their phones or smartphones and online platforms to at least two hours a day. Live in Harrisburg, I'm Asia Tab, CBS 21 News.